Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, appeared carefree this morning as they unveiled an art installation at Dumfries House in Scotland. The future king and his wife, known as the Duke and Duchess of Rothesay, when north of the border, appeared delighted during their engagement as they unveil a knitted art installation at Dumfries House in Ayrshire this morning. The massive and colourful art piece contains knitted squares coming from countries across the world including Italy, Tasmania and the US. These knitted squares were sent following a request by the Prince's Foundation as part of its Knitwise initiative. Launched in collaboration with the Joseph Itadui Foundation, this project aims at showing how knitting is a sustainable craft form that can be used as a tool for mental well-being. The various squares have been sewn together by staff at the Royal Malls Foundation as well as participants of the charity's textiles programs and prisoners taking part in a rehabilitation initiative. After being unveiled and exposed, the art piece will be dismantled into smaller blankets and donated to various charities. This project brought together Prince Charles' work in favour of sustainability and the use of renewable fibres as well as his efforts to keep alive traditional craftsmanship. During this morning's engagement, Prince Charles donned a kilt while Camilla wore a green ensemble including tartan motives. Their royal stay in Scotland continues as the heir to the throne's foundation has seen its CEO, Michael Fawcett, resigned temporarily in the wake of cash for honours claims. A Clarence House spokesman said, The Prince of Wales has no knowledge of the alleged offer of honours or British citizenship on the basis of donation to his charities and fully supports the investigation now underway by the Prince's foundation. The Scottish stay of Prince Charles and Camilla also comes as more than half of Scottish people aged over 16 have spoken against holding a second independence referendum by the end of 2023, in a major swipe to put First Minister Nicola Sturgeon's plans. Research for the pro-UK campaign group Scotland and Union found 52% of the poll said not to back a second referendum in the nation within the next two years. The study also highlighted 38% of the surveyed back to second poll in the next 24 months, while 10% answered they did not know. The poll was conducted by Servation between August 31 and September 1 on 1,040 Scottish people aged over 16. The Scotland and Union Chief Executive, Pamela Nash, said, this poll confirms that Nicola Sturgeon is out of touch with the people of Scotland. A majority of voters oppose her plans for a divisive second referendum within the next two years, and she should listen to what people are telling her. This poll was unveiled just days after Ms Sturgeon set out her programme for the Scottish Government which included planning for a new vote on independence, COVID permitting before the end of 2023. Announcing the programme for government, Ms Sturgeon said, Our democratic mandate to allow people, not politicians, to decide the country's future is beyond question. And, at this juncture in history, it is essential that we consider the kind of country we want to be and how best to secure it. She added, crucially, we will ensure that the choice when it comes is a fully informed one. To that end, I can confirm that the Scottish Government will now restart work on the detailed prospectus that will guide the decision. On Sunday, during the SNP's national conference, which begins tomorrow, there will be a session on the draft referendum bill scheduled. Prince Charles and Camilla will meet Miss Sturgeon on October 2, when they are set to accompany the Queen to Holyrood. On the day, the monarch will address the new session of the Scottish Parliament, with the ceremony focused on paying tribute to local heroes who behaved outstandingly during the pandemic.